All right, so the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I was really excited about this last week. It sounds like you listened to last week's episode. I was talking about mm-hmm. how I was going to be giving Ben those Lego Luigi sets for his birthday. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but I put up on TikTok like a mishmash of him opening the gifts. Mm-hmm. And at one point he sees it's Luigi's Mansion. And he looks back up at me. He's like, oh, Dad. <laughs> this is Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> and I was like, I know. I know. I bought it. It wasn't Santa. Yeah. He acts so surprised when he opens the gifts like we don't get them. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you a little background on Ben, he is really smart and really capable. But one of the things that he's had trouble developing in his youth is like he's had assistance with like writing with pencils and stuff, which is good because he took on drawing and now he draws all the time. That helps. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't have very good articulation and eye-hand coordination. I think that's why he hasn't picked up video games as quickly as other kids his age. Right. And what I've noticed with us building these Lego sets, first of all, Lego, holy crap, they have an app, Lego Super Mario app that you can download. And then you just bop your phone or your tablet or whatever, and it shows you how to build the next piece in 3D, and you can move the piece around if you want. And I started bopping it for him, and he would look at the picture, and he would build the like find the correct Legos and build the thing. But then he's, he's like, can I boop it? I was like, yeah, you can boop it. So he started tapping my phone and just kind of going through. And I had to pull him back a couple times. He would go too fast or try to skip ahead, like, oh, I see what it's doing. And I'm like, oh, don't make any assumptions. Right. And we go backwards and go, see, you actually need to put that piece here. He's like, oh, okay. So he's starting to learn how to follow directions, take his time, not make assumptions, which... Honestly, that's the thing that I struggle with in my youth. Yeah. My brain just works so fast. I'm like, I see the pattern here. I don't need to listen to any more instructions. I got this. Yeah, that's probably why I can't build shit now because I didn't have any Legos. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, that does serve you when you want to quickly act on something. And that is a strength of mine, but it's simultaneously a weakness because there were a lot of times where because I didn't finish the instructions, I missed a nuance that after a final build or a final process through something, I'm like, shit, I fucked that up. I got to go back and redo the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get ahead of that with him because apparently he inherited that from me. So he's struggling to put the pieces together, but he's like, he keeps trying. He wants to do it so bad. Mm -hmm. And there's only been, I mean, some of those Legos are really difficult. The small ones you have to snap together. And he's got his little baby hands. But for the most part, he's doing them himself. And then I'll show him how I do it. And then on a difficult piece, and then another similar difficult piece will come up and he'll try again and he'll nail it. And I've been so proud of him. If you have kids that have a similar struggle where their eye-hand coordination is kind of falling behind and you're concerned, honestly, these Lego sets, I mean, the only barrier to entry, obviously, is money. They're expensive. Mm -hmm. I had to wheel and deal to get these at a reasonable price. (laughs) But if you can get Legos at a reasonable price and they have like a build instructions your kids are learning a lot just by building those. And I've been sitting with him and, and watching him and helping him when he needs it, but like just hands off when I can. And then, oh my God, the coolest thing about these Lego sets, that Luigi that we got, it basically reads these chips that are on the Legos and then plays appropriate music or sound effects. Oh, that's cool. It actually can read colors. And he was obsessed with putting Luigi over a purple block and then watching him poison to death. I was like, okay. <laughs> all right. He's, he's a sadistic kid. Um, <laughs> but it's cool all of the different things that it can interact with and do. And I actually put a video of Luigi going through like the first starter course on TikTok. So you can check that out. And I'll probably put up subsequent videos of us looking at the Luigi's Mansion lab, the entrance, and then the mansion proper because – We've built the entrance, we built the lab, and we're halfway through the entrance now, and then we still have to build the mansion. But I'm looking forward to it, because it was a lot of fun to do that with him, and it really does seem to be helping his eye-hand coordination. I probably couldn't have asked for a better outcome in getting him these Lego gifts, so I'm very pleased. Especially since you bought them for yourself. I did not. Listen, (laughs) that's a running joke we've had, but for real, like, I didn't have a ton of interest. If I did, I would have bought the other ones by now. I would have went and got... The thing I thought was really dope was that NES Lego that you can build, an actual Lego Nintendo Entertainment System Mm -hmm. with the CRT. Yeah, that's crazy. But all of it's just way overpriced. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing is, there aren't too many Luigi's Mansion toys out there, and he can't play the game, but he's obsessed, and he likes to watch all the playthroughs and everything. I thought this was the perfect compromise. Yeah, it ended up working out even better than I thought it would. Nice. I'm glad he liked it. Yeah, me too. <laughs>